Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Amank in Cloud. In this video, we are going to install all the required CLIs in order to work with AWS Elastic Kubernetes service. So in order to work with AWS EKS, there are three CLI command line interface tools that are required. One is AWS CLI itself. Okay, so this is used to interact. Uh, uh, we can control multiple AWS services from the command line and automate them through scripts. So that is the requirement of AWS CLI. The second one is kubectl, which is really important when you are working with Kubernetes. So we can control Kubernetes cluster and its objects using kubectl. And that's why we also need to install kubectl. And the third and very important one is EKS CTL. So EKS CTL is used for creating and deleting clusters on AWS EKS. So we can also uh, you know create auto scale delete node groups, which are uh, you know which we are going to talk about in the upcoming videos. We can also uh, you know create forget profiles using EKS CTL, which is required in order to work with forget. So in very short terms. It is very, very powerful tool for managing EKS clusters on AWS. So that is why we will see how to install AWS CLI, also EKS CTL and EKS CTL. So what I've done is as I do not have a Windows machine, so I have created an EC2 instance where I have used Windows. Okay, so on this Windows, we will install all these three, uh, uh, you know, CLIs and show you how to install it. And don't worry, I will provide all the links to the documentation on how we install it in the description box below so that you can also install it. So without wasting much time, let's go on to the video and see how to install AWS CLI, kubectl and EKS CT. All right, uh, now let's try and install uh, AWS CLI first so that of, of, I do not have a Windows machine, so what I've done is I've created a, an EC2 instance with Windows and I've logged into that uh, and so to show you how to install it, okay? So to install it, you, all you have to do is search for AWS CLI install Windows and open the first link that you will get. Here if you see, uh, there are different options. You can select appropriate options if you're on Linux, uh, select Linux and follow the instructions. So as most of us will be using Windows, I'm going to use Windows here. So what I need to do is first I'll download and run the AWS CLI MSI installer. So I'll just click on this. This will download AWS CLI MSI and I'll open the file and this I will click next. I'll accept all the things. Just make sure to read it once. Click next, next and I'll just hit install. So this will take a couple of minutes to install the AWS CLI. Once it is done, all you have to do is just run AWS CLI version and see if it is working fine or not. Okay, so let's do that as well. So let's give it a moment to install the AWS command line interface version two. So make sure to install the version two that is the latest version. So uh, let's wait for that to complete. If you see here, it's completed the installation and I'll click on finish now. Let me open command prompt on Windows. So uh, there is a lag because it is an EC2 instance. Please bear with me for that. Hyphen, hyphen version. Now, if I hit enter, I should be seeing AWS CLI version 2.17. All right, so this is how you install AWS CLI, okay? Now, the other tool that we need to install is kubectl. So there are different ways of installing kubectl. As you can see here, you can install it um, using kubectl binary with curl on Windows, or you can also use, uh, you know, a chocolatey scoop or winget to install it. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this command. Um, I'll make sure to provide all the links to the, um, you know, uh, installation guide in the description box below so don't worry on that part so let me open command prompt again and I'll just run the same command that I just copied okay so this is the command that I copied I'll go to command prompt I'll paste that and let's wait uh, until it's downloading 
all right so the first step is completed so we will have to validate so first what we need to do is we'll just copy this one download the kubectl checksum file so we'll do that done that now uh, let's go ahead and run this command and see if we are getting any output or not i'll paste that all right if you see here we have the client version 1.30.0 uh, so this is how you install kubectl now another important one that we need to download is uh, installing the eksctl to interact with the aws uh, eks so uh, to install eksctl what i've done is i've uh, chosen to use chocolatey so uh, if you do not know chocolatey it is a package manager for um, windows so what i've done is i've installed uh, chocolatey so if you do not know how to install it follow their official documentation all you have to do is just run this and uh, the chocolatey package will be installed on your local machine now this uh, next step is to uh, run this command which is choco install iphone y ekctl i'll open my powershell and i'll execute that and if i hit enter uh, that will install ekctl if you can see here um, it has approved a uh, version 0 0.187 so it is installing it now let's give it a moment and if you see here uh, the the package that we asked for that is ekctl is now installed so to validate what you can do is you can uh, you know also try to upgrade it if you want uh, let's run that command and see what we get so it's already on the version that is required so that is not needed in this scenario now let's go ahead and run ekctl version and see if that is working fine or not if you see here we are getting the response as 0 0.187.0 so this is how you install aws ela this is how you install kubectl and this is how you install ekctl now after installing all these things i hope you already know how to configure aws cli which is very simple which is i'll open the command prompt here let me close the screen all you have to do is aws and configure G -O -R -E. and if you hit enter you will be providing the access key id i hope you know what is access key id you, all you have to do is go to aws uh, console under your users there will be a place where you can create the let me show that to you in fact so if i go to my aws console if i go to aws here and if i go to iam under users you have security credentials we will have to create these credentials and pass it here okay so let me click on h1 here security credentials if you see here access keys you can create it you can select command line interface select this one and if you click on create access key it is going to show you the access key and the secret key let's copy this let me go to my vm so i'll have to paste that hit enter next i'll have to copy the secret key paste that hit enter and the default region i'll leave it as it i'll uh, default output i'll leave it as it and that's all now you have configured the aws cli also now if you are wondering why am i opening two of this as i told you earlier i do not have a windows machine so what i've done i've created a, a ec2 instance with windows operating system and i've configured the command prompt there all right so all you have to do is these steps to get started with this playlist all right so see you in the next tutorials until then if you're liking the content please consider subscribing and share it with your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one